am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. His I'm in class. Everything's cool. Worry. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the I eyes can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should She's upgrade to the 21st torture, century. Right? But frankly, I like it old school. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark I court. haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Desperation. And any if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? One of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too I obvious? do love my analog camera. What if Arbus chose I should to capture take... people at the height? Look at this crap. How can resistance. I show this to Mr. Jefferson? She had a brilliant eye. I can hear the class laughing at me now. She could have taken another approach. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Are you fucking kidding me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria, even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I just worked so hard. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have to Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Some obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Huh, this might make a cool shot. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, 
but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I feel like you have to pass some sort of test. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. Would you please it so shy? I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. To all of you, There's Taylor, always girl, waiting for Victoria. To ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. American girls, I'd like to These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Driving a car by the seaside Watching the world from the bright side yeah. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello Jack, kiss kiss. Andy, you look to totally fabulous you, as usual. American girls in the Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day.
This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow, thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress, you you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of. Can you give I me actually an did of it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diana. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. 
a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're- I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. Get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. 
That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um... Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my, you can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey Evan, mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse.
Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Best portrait ever. Thanks, Max. I'd like to draw you another time if you want. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. I'd be honored, Daniel. Funny. <laughs> So what happened to her? She just stopped coming to... Okay. No way! Are you drunk? Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. I'd like to study this photo if you don't mind. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back.
This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Clever. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. It'll happen. Karma doesn't play favorites. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. No need to go there now. No reason to go now. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Max. Yeah. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Just... Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. Oh. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. No. Sweet. 
squeak. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look yeah. great. I can't even chill on the steps. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Nice, Glad bro. to see our campus is eco-friendly. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Sweet. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Hurry, Courtney! Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Juliet, extreme reporter. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. We get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say.
Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I look so pathetic. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great, now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Answer, you wuss. <clears throat> you are ridiculous. Ugh. If you don't let me out, I will scream. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here.
Welcome to Black Hill. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. <laughs> Welcome to Black Hill. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. They should call this series aloof, cold and soulless, kind of like Victoria. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here.
I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. That's real n Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. 
So fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Oh, nothing. Yeah, okay. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. <laughs> Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone.
Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. Now that I'm our... At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Come on over here, please. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Daniel posted it online already? That was nice. Congrats. You're part of his online portrait posse. Don't be jealous. I'm sure he'll ask you soon. Oh, you're a wit, Max. It's the company I keep, Warren. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. 
I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but... I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, Nothing bitch. but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but... I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. 
I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool, at least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. We had such a blast drawing these together. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. It reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. I 
I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Old cardboard boxes. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Party all night. Not Little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. So tell me, what does Max come? I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you... And Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage.
Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Can you let me chillax for a bit? Alone? The tools are still downstairs. Taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy, of me. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf, but here I am. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Nothing's changed, except for me and Chloe. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. In the kitchen, pizza. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Oh, Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. The prices are late on their bills. Uh oh. The prices are late on. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Joyce still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Act, react, or die, a 21st century survival guide. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free.
Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. I guess they're aging, these books. Brr, I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you.
I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Hmm, one of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes, score! Should I switch the song? Decisions, decisions. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Shit! Butterfingers! I wonder what's in those files up there. Oh man, I'm always... That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. 
I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. 
We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe, I'm coming. what are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now Chloe? I'm coming! What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing! Give me a minute! Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second! My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Oh, you're on a roll today. Between the fire alarm and now this? You don't have anything smart to say now, do you? Get the huh? hell away from her. I have proof you hassled Kate Marsh today. What? What are you talking about? I have surveillance proof. Now please leave us alone. Okay, Chloe. You know everything. And Max, if I find you here again, it will be the last time. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while? What's the problem? Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're gonna get busted. Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that, I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? This is all just so scary. I know, Max, but I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. Can you actually use it? After about a hundred online videos? Hell yeah. Just don't keep it in your pants, okay? Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women. Come on, let's escape out the window. It's cool, I do it every night.
in this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. A tree haiku? How pretty. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I'm glad I took his photo with Kate, just in case. Why was he all up in her shit? He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? You know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing you didn't look. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He is so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. 
I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. 
Like I said, not crazy. But high, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Yeah.